Good morning. This is uh, Eric Hawkins again, and um, my second video uh, regarding solar water heating. It's uh, Easter Monday, 2015, and uh, it's a blue blue sky, lovely day, about 18 degrees ambient temperature, and I've just checked inside my tank and the roof, and the temperature of the solar is running at 75 degrees. Today I don't need any hot water going into my heating, so I'll just allow the tank of 250 litre thermal store to heat up to as high as it can, so I've got plenty of hot water that my boiler coming on today. So for this time of the year, it's um, exceptional. I mean, last year we had rain and terrible weather up until till May, so we've saved a lot of energy this year. Okay, these are um, Apricus collectors, uh, a product, okay, or a brand we developed um, in, from 2003-04. Um, I was a partner to Mick Humphreys, who is now the CEO of Apricus in China, and uh, I was co-designer and developer of, of this collector, which has been improved over the years. And uh, the UK was uh, used as the guinea pig for all the initial early stage problems that we had. Um, unlike most um, systems, a collector is the collector. Uh, what I've done is, first of all, in 25 years ago, is develop a tank um, because everyone is just, if you like, um, connecting any type of collector to an existing type of tank and, and, and making sure that the tank has the water separate from the hot water coming out. Um, always generally pressurised, I mean, if it's in Europe or the USA, other countries are different. England, okay, was a country which had copper tank, open vented systems, so we're very much okay, knowledgeable of open vented, and that is what my tank is in my, in my roof space. <laughs> that is a 250 litre, made in China tank, to my specification, open vented means okay, it vents automatically, um, that means also that the water in the headers, uh, which is uh, the header is at the top of the collector, uh, runs through there as a, there's a heat exchanger. Um, in my new design, I've, I've changed that design so I don't have to worry about the freezing. There's no glycol in here at all. Uh, the water in there is the same water in the tank. The same water in my tank is the same water in my radiators, which is how I managed to, to run uh, my system as a solar central heating system. Um, totally all, everything of the tank, the collectors and the radiators is all vented uh, with a small header tank in the loft, which keeps it topped up. Uh, there's no glycol, no servicing, and uh, of course there's 50% less parts. There's no expansion tank, there's no, there's none of the, all the valves and the safety things you have. And with such a simple system uh, to actually install it, because there's less parts, it takes you obviously uh, less time to complete it. Sadly, um, solar central heating has been banned under the RHI rules in the UK and uh, you can only buy solar water heating uh, as a hot water tank of water only and at £5,000 plus um, most people don't even want to waste their time on it and um, where my system today to my design uh, will cost around £1,000 or even less if you use the existing cylinder. So um, <clears throat> what I'm looking for now is I'm now at the point of my life where I've now designed my own uh, evacuated tube collector. Um, I've looked at all the issues and problems over the years of other companies and, and, and taken all the problems and weaknesses away. Um, last year I started my production of Speedflex stainless steel flexible pipe systems which is now in the USA and the UK and we've exported to other countries, Canada, Brazil, Australia and um, last year I, I decided I needed to have um, a, a step into the PV industry so I, I took a, a solar panel and I've converted it to a PVT panel uh, by attacking, attaching uh, an absorber plate uh, behind the back of the panel and a clipping system so that you can take the heat from the back of the panel and uh, use that for preheated hot water. Then you'd use a collector like this on a west face, say west facing side, west facing part of the roof and have that as a top up. So by having uh, solar panels on the roof that generate electricity, you take the heat from the back of the panel to improve the efficiency and that becomes your preheat um, with the second tank and the main tank then is obviously heated by the evacuate tube 
um, for giving you then the hot water, preheat and, uh, and, and PV. And lastly, um, because I'm now into LED lighting, um, we can now package it where the house or the home or the hotel or restaurant or the, anyone where there's, they, have, they have a need for electricity, hot water and lighting um, can now be developed, or can now be packaged and, and literally installed, okay, to, to really reduce the cost of your energy. Um, so I'm looking right now for some uh, partners in different countries, I'm looking for uh, investors, business partners. Um, I'm now at the moment working as a consultant. Um, I've got a lot of opportunities that I'm developing in China, um, where I've been working for the last 15 years. And uh, now the time has come where the market's improving, the recession in the UK is over, we've got a growth here, and it's now time to get back to the real solar technology, which is solar water heating, uh, because using PV to heat water is crazy, um, but that's the situation we have today. So please contact me, and uh, the follow-on is going to be some pictures and some schematics from this film. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye, and have a nice Easter. Even my garden's all in flowers, and uh, we've had this house now since uh, 1998. And uh, the original collector I had on the house roof was asunder, but I took that off and replaced it with uh, with the Apricus collector. And my own design is called SunTech Solar. It's now made in Wuxi, and this one's called a batch water heater. And that was developed by uh, Sunder, um, down at Benz Aerospace and uh, that's what I was um, selling in the UK as the agent for Sunder until 2002 and uh, then I met up with Mick and uh, we set about establishing Apricus. Sadly I was no longer needed in the company after exporting to the USA, uh, South Africa, establishing the UK market which then basically exported into Europe and uh, so 2007 I went my own way, and, uh, but I'm the innovator, I'm the designer, so people who contact me know that I have much more than just uh, the ability to just sell a collector or talk about the plumbing. Okay, that's it for now.